Hello, I am Janelle Grisak. I am doing a video presentation for business policies. Um, my assignment was Ford Motor Company. Um, I'm just going to run through and talk about a little bit of history. Um, I'm not going to go through it all. I'm going to pick out the things that I found most interesting to myself and what I feel I picked out what I feel is um, relative to what I need to speak about. So, Ford um, was developed by Henry Ford. Um, he tried three times before he was successful. So, he tried once, um, was unsuccessful, tried a second time, unsuccessful, and then finally the third time he was successful. And behind the greatest business, I think you have to have a few failures. Um, so back in 1896, that's when he built his first vehicle that was unsuccessful. And then in 1899, he joined a Detroit um, automobile company um, just to gain some knowledge um, to be better in the industry, find ways to make a successful business. Um, and then, actually, in 1903, he created um, his first model, and he sold his first model, and I'll get back to 1903, um, and how it started, and how many investors, and so on and so forth. And then, in 1907, he was trademarked. Um, in that time, he was buying companies, became publicly um, traded as a company, in 1959, uh, Ford Credit was launched by Ford Motor Company. I think that's a huge marketing standpoint, so I'll get into that a little later. Now, let me go back to 1903 when he was successful with his first sale. Um, he became an incorporation that year. Uh, he had 12 investors and 1,000 shares. Um, that's not a whole lot to us nowadays, but back then I bet it was a lot um, he started his business with about $28,000 and after selling his first model, he profited or came out with about 37000 So, um, I'd say he did pretty good. Uh, pretty good for the first time. Um, one of their bigger things in their history was the Ford Mustang he came up with or built. Um, that was in 1964. It was one of the fastest selling um, vehicles in history. Um, cars. Fastest selling cars. Um, and then, you know, to nowadays, you know, working towards what's going to be great for the company, um, what everybody else is doing, and that's just trying to make the world a greater place, and that's inventing smarter cars that don't use gas and or being creative with what kind of gas they're using and just making them better fuel efficient. Some of the strengths and weaknesses I see, um, some of the strengths I think um, don't really have much to do with the business side, but yet tie into the business side. Um, they offered early on in their business to their employees, shorter work days. They did start out longer, but they went down to shorter work days. Um, and I think not only with that, but also providing very competitive pay allowed um, people to want to come work for them. So with that, that allows for a production line to move a lot faster and a lot quicker so, with that being said, I feel like with shorter days and um, great wage back in the day, they had a lot of people employed and a lot of people pushing that assembly line to get those cars out and to be able to per quickness so customers can come in and buy some cars and they don't have to wait. Some of their weaknesses is more nowadays. Their supply and demand. I'll talk a little bit more about that later. Um, and like everything, if there's something good, it's probably going to get discontinued. So I think um, customers are just not going to like that. Okay, some of the struggles um, are Ford credit. So I think 
that's more or less talking nowadays um, Ford Credit in the beginning. And I think that it was a great thing that made Ford, uh, Ford successful is when they launched it in 1956, I think that was a perfect marketing standpoint that allowed customers or buyers, buyers in a sense to that didn't have enough money to borrow against a bank or for credit in this and um, aspect um, and lease a uh, leasing was available so I think that was a great marketing standpoint on their end and it became very successful um, for credit is still successful this, nowadays however I know that they've ran into problems because in 2019 COVID hit um, and then it really hit in, um, in the United States in 2020. That's when the government shut down a lot of businesses. That's when Ford had to shut down production line. Um, yet, so they weren't producing vehicles, yet you had a su supply or you had a demand for those vehicles. Well, that's kind of where the disadvantages and their weaknesses come from is they still haven't recovered from that. Um, the They don't have the supply. Not only because they, but they can't get the parts and materials to make the vehicles. And then the demand for vehicles are just so high. And they were so high for a long time because interest rates were just so competitive. Um, you were getting so such a low interest rate on vehicles. And buyers wanted to buy um, with those great interest rates. So I think for credit was great. And I think for credit is still great. I think the world is just trying to navigate through the life of COVID. And so I don't know if that's a weakness or what, but the supply and demand is kind of some of their weakness. Um, so it's COVID was out of our control. I think they tried the best to maintain, um, when the government shuts you down, you kind of have to just obey that. Um, but still, like I said, even in 2023, they're still struggling to maintain and be satisfied with the demand because uh, they can't produce. And I think the whole world is short. <laughs> um, Ford's value chain, um, planning and de um, designing, I think they continue to come out with great products. Um, you know, the assembly line is hopefully coming back up to create those nice products for us. Um, property issues, reducing priority issues, I'm sorry, reducing, um, just making costs affordable for us, but also in realisticness, being able to afford them forward and not charge us, it just, it's not making much sense, but I think to make the customer happy, you have to have some type of incentive for those vehicles because cost of vehicles are rising um, and it's called inflation and it just stinks. <laughs> um, competitiveness. I think Ford has done a great job as far as competitiveness. They're always coming out with something greater and better. Um, you know, there's so many competitors. There's Chevy, there's Dodge, there's Ford, of course, you know, in overseas companies as well, Honda, um, that are coming out with great products too. So I think they're constantly trying to build a great piece of equipment, um, so they can keep, um, up on that competitive side. Um, continuously, a uh, continuous, uh, I think the biggest thing with Ford is, they need to continue that production line. Um, we actually just tried to put a build in for a brand new truck and it's not going to be a 2022 20, model wouldn't even be delivered until the end of this year. And so um, it's just really inconvenient for the customers. So I think just being able to continue and maintain and even get past maintaining um, to get those cars pushed out um, is kind of an issue. So, um, just to recap, I think 
Ford is a great company. I think Henry Ford had a great vision and he was successful with that vision. But one of my main thing main things that I think Ford was successful was Ford Credit. I think allowing buyers opportunities such as leasing or buying a vehicle um, was something that a lot of people didn't know of and didn't know that they could do and um he really did push that over and beyond so i think um ford company is doing everything that they can do even in the pandemic standpoint um they're suffering just like their competitors competitors are suffering uh so that's all i have for today thank you for watching